What's up guys, welcome to G Whiskey, my name is Jeff. Now this is a channel where I offer my thoughts and opinions on a specific whiskey, and if you stick around to the end, I'll be giving it a score as well. If that sounds interesting, hit subscribe down below. And with that out of the way, why don't we jump into our review. Today we're looking at the Irishman Cast Strength. Stick around. So we've got an interesting one with us today. We're looking at the Irishman. Uh, I don't think the Irishman is one of the bigger Irish brands out there, uh, but where I live, it has been popping up more and more often. We're looking at the cast strength today. This is the first of their core range that I've tried. Our cast strength here is a limited annual release. They only put out so many per year. Uh, I think back in May of this year, they put out their 2021 version. Uh, the one I've got with me today is gonna be the 2018. Uh, this is a combination of single malt and single pot still whiskey. The brand is owned by Walsh Whiskies, who also own Writer's Tears, and I think Writer's Tears is much better known as a brand than the Irishman, uh, but the Irishman actually does have quite a decent lineup. There's a few whiskies to choose from. They have a no-age stated Founders Reserve, they have a no-age stated Single Malt, there's a 12-year-old, there's our cast strength here, and I think there's also a 17-year-old option out there as well. Uh, this whiskey has been matured entirely in bourbon barrels and obviously bottled cast strength. And despite not being one of the bigger Irish brands out there, it does get some love once in a while. Uh, most notably, our batch here, the 2018. This was awarded 94 points in Jim Murray's Whiskey Bible at the time. But on the whole, I would say it's not a particularly hyped up whiskey. You don't see a lot of chatter about it. But once in a while, you do come across something special with these lesser known brands, especially when it comes to Irish whiskey, which I'll admit I've only just scratched the surface on. It's not like a region or a style that I'm super familiar with. And that's definitely something we're going to have to remedy moving forward. Uh, I do actually have a couple of other Irish whiskeys on the go at the moment. And honestly, I'm a pretty big fan of the style. So yeah, why don't we see how I feel about this one? Why don't we hop into our review? And in the meantime, if you could kindly leave a like down below, that'd be greatly appreciated. This one's going to give us everything we want in terms of specs. We have a cast strength ABV of 54%. It's going to be non-shell filtered and our color is natural. So all good. So we do have a nice natural color to our whiskey. I like the squat bottle look. We have a very posh and polished box over there. Uh, I think the overall look, the design is fine, but I'm not a big fan of like the pastel purple color scheme. Um, presentation score will be two and a half out of five. It says our bottle is 1590 of 3716 made, but then we have a little note on the inside of our box that says 3516 were made. So, uh, oops. Uh, vatting of bourbon cast, we have blurbs on the back with both production details and tasting notes, which is nice to see. Nothing about being non-chill filtered or naturally colored, that should definitely be there. Um, yeah, I think it's an okay look, it's just the color scheme that's not really for me. Let's try our nose. Okay, a little bit of alcohol burn here, but nothing too bad. Uh, apricots, bananas, lemon lemon cake, vanilla frosting, icing sugar, uh, there's some pineapple in here, there's some apple tarts, and maybe just a little bit of anise. Uh, it's not a complex nose, but it's a very bright, tart, clean, classic Irish profile. Now our palate. Okay, this is uh, heavier more intense, maybe even a little bit more indulgent than the nose suggested. Definitely very fruity. Some kind of like cakey notes in here too. Um, pineapple, peach, uh, yeah, like cake elements. So like maybe frosting, maybe even some sprinkles, lemon sponge cake, that kind of thing. Um, there's some toffee in here and some white chocolate. Now our finish. Okay, so that classic sort of Irish tinniness is here. Definitely loads of fruit. Again, more pineapple, more peach, uh, some citrus in here. There's some pears. Uh, again, cake elements, so like vanilla pound cake, vanilla frosting. Uh, there's some like lemon tarts in here. What else? We have gentle florals. We have spices in here. More toffee, more white chocolate. I would say this is medium in length, but very good intensity here, never rough. So I've had this bottle for about a year now, and I'll admit that when I first popped it, I wasn't really convinced uh, I liked it, but there was nothing really there that grabbed my attention, so I kind of dismissed it for a while. 
Also, there was a few times that I had this in a session with friends and the bottle wasn't exactly Mr. Popular. Uh, we'd drink it, we'd enjoy it, we'd put it back and then we'd kind of forget about it. I found my best moments with this bottle have been sort of alone, away from any kind of session. This is a light, bright, clean profile. We've got some beautiful notes in here. We've got balance. We've got decent complexity. It's engaging. And our ABV definitely brings the intensity up a few notches, which is great. Um, so despite being kind of unsure about this stuff at first, I do think it's pretty good. But this one doesn't have the huge personality that some other better Irish expressions out there do have. Uh, in a lot of ways, it's a little bit more typical than I want it to be. Uh, it's too much of a standard Irish profile, of course. It's big, it's bold. We do have that added intensity from the ABV, but it doesn't have the character. It doesn't have the personality. It doesn't have the, the hook that you'd get from something like, say, a red breast. Then again, it's not very fair to compare every Irish whiskey to red breast cast strength because good God, do I love red breast cast strength. Um, of course, red breast, sherried whiskey. This one goes much more in a bright, clean direction. Um, but yeah, in a lot of ways, it's just too much of a typical Irish profile. You do have a few extra layers of like fruitiness on top, and that's about it. But you know, I do like the fruitiness in here. I like the peach flavors in here. They're very natural, very fresh. We've got a nice spicy kick to it. Uh, there's a bit of an alcohol burn, nothing too much. So it makes it feel a little bit less engineered, less perfect. So it's got a bit more of a challenge, a bit more of a kick to it. At the end of the day though, it doesn't do anything that's super interesting. Uh, it's a cast strength, intense, very pleasant Irish profile, but I think without that added ABV, this would be nothing special. But since we do have that extra ABV, our flavors have more weight to them, and because of that, I do like it more. Uh, my score is going to be 85 here. I think it's solid, but it's not outstanding. It's bright, it's clean, it's fun, but maybe a little bit too straightforward, a little bit too much of a been there, done that profile. It does what it does well enough though. So I'd recommend this stuff to people who are fans of a very, you know, classic, traditional style of Irish whiskey who just want those flavors kind of dialed up a little bit. Uh, personally, I usually look for something with maybe a bit more of a sherry touch or a bit more of a unique house style, something a little bit more challenging or different. But that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with this stuff. It is thoroughly enjoyable. So this is actually a pretty expensive bottle. Uh, we have our fancy packaging. We have our shiny wooden box. But, you know, the whiskey, while good, it's not good enough to warrant the high price tag, so this is not a whiskey I'm going to recommend to you guys. There's definitely some better value Irish buys out there. I mentioned Red Breast Cast Strength earlier. For me, that one's like the gold standard for Irish whiskey. Of course, that one's also Cast Strength, but it's age-stated, and it's substantially cheaper than this bottle. This one comes in at well over 100 US, roughly 85 pounds or so. At that price, skip it. It's not worth it. All right, that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, hit subscribe down below, click that little bell icon, and of course, smash the like. Now, I do want to hear from you. Have you tried our Irishman cast strength here? What year did you try? How did you feel about it? Finally, down in the comments, let me know what you want to see me review next, and I'll keep it in mind for my upcoming videos. Bye, guys.